have a microphone on and I'm terrified that I'm just going to brush up against it the whole time and all you'll hear is like, if that even is a thing. Hey girl, hey, welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to sit down and show you guys some of the uh, products that I've recently received that I'm really excited to try. Most of them have come from the Sephora showings which were on this week in Sydney. But I just wanted to show you some of my favorite ones because like the size of this bag, oh, like I literally can hardly even pick it up. So as you can see, that is a crazy, goody bag, if that's what you can call it. But I just wanted to take the products out from some of my favorite brands so that I could show you guys those. Because the other brands that are in there are either new to me, um, I haven't tried them before, or I haven't heard a lot about them. So I feel like I wanna um, test them a bit more and get to know them a bit better before I show you guys. But the brands I'm gonna show you are tried and tested brands and I love them and I trust what they do so I can imagine that these products are going to be amazing. Also, I just thought I would clarify, um, firstly, I'm so grateful for all of the products that come my way. I'm grateful that I'm even on Sephora's radar. It's, of course, a huge honor. But when we are given these um, products, they are not a gift exactly. While there is no um, you know, pre-made agreement of promoting these products or using them, I mean, <laughs> I guess it's kind of guaranteed that we're probably all going to use the products but you know there's there's no guarantee when we go to Sephora and then when Sephora give us these products that we're going to promote them or talk about them there is no pre-made agreement this is not sponsored um, they are given to us in the hope in the hope that we will love that product that we will use that product and then if we do love and use that product that we will then of course share it with you guys so i just thought i would clarify that with you guys because i don't want you to think that this is all just gifts coming my way i mean it does feel like christmas don't get me wrong it does feel like christmas the sephora showings always feel like christmas but yeah i just wanted to clarify that with you guys so that you know what's up and if you have any more questions about that please feel free to ask so if you are interested to see these products that i'm really excited to try then please keep on watching and if you're not that interested that's cool i'll see you in another video oh my gosh you guys i nearly forgot to say thank you so much for 30,000 subscribers my mind is blown. Literally less than a month ago, I was saying thanks on Instagram for 25K and now I've hit 30,000 and it's unreal. I absolutely love sharing this journey with you guys. I love sharing my love of makeup with you guys and I just feel really lucky to be able to do that. So thank you, your support means the world to me. Um, yeah, I really appreciate it, so thank you. Whew, okay, I don't even know where to start. Even though I've narrowed it down, it's still really quite a lot of stuff. You know what? I'm going to start with Zoeva because I have two boxes of Zoeva products to show you guys. So the first box, the one I have here, is the one that I received in the Sephora goodie bag. And then the night after, because the Zoeva team had flown out here for the showings, the night after they hosted a dinner that I was lucky enough to be invited to, the whole Zoeva team are literally just the nicest humans. I love them so much. I get along with them so well. And um, I honestly feel proud of them. Like I've known them for a really long time, but really I've probably known them for a year, but I'm so proud of the brand and I just think it's an amazing brand. So I really wanted to show you guys what I got in these boxes. And I'm going to be honest, I have already opened the Zoeva boxes because I was so excited. Like, it's just like, I just get too excited and I just had to see what was in there. So right here we have the Zoeva Pure Lacquer Box and this is eight liquid shiny lipsticks. If you guys would have seen, if you've seen my video on 10 minute glam makeup, I used a Zoeva lipstick and it was one of these called Senso. So these are the eight beautiful shades. This one here is Senso, which is the one that I used in that tutorial. Uh, I'm obsessed with this nude shade. I cannot wait to try all of them. This red here is more of a true red and the Senso that I used in my tutorial was more of uh, an orange red. These are so crazy pigmented. You need the tiniest amount. Like if you saw that video, I literally just did like a little swipe on my bottom lip and I spread that out with a brush and it covered my whole lips and they're just beautiful. They can be a little bit more matte if you thin them out and kind of push them in with your fingertip, but otherwise they are a shiny, high pigmented liquid lipstick. I really should have bought some wipes out with me, shouldn't I? 
Hold on, please. Thank you so much. Okay. Got me some simple wipes so that we can do some swatching. Okay, first shade here is unrefined. This shade here is called Strong Career. Sensual Curve. Crushed Bloom. This one here, Hot Pursuit. Crisscrossed. Senso, which has to be possibly my favorite one. And Noble Heart, which is a blue-based red. I also received the strobe gels. This one here is Areole. Areole. Areola. Areole. This one here is Halo. It's a beautiful shimmery eggshell kind of shade. And this shade here is Corona. So these are beautiful, long-lasting gel formulas. I'm kind of hoping that you can see my hand is glistening in this light. So the next night at the Zoeva dinner, we got given another box of products. Some of these will be available at Sephora and some of these are only available from Zoeva online. But Zoeva Online do ship to Australia, so if you're interested in any of these, do check it out, although they probably won't be out for a little while longer. First of all, we have the Brow Spectrum Palette. Look at that beauty. I'm so excited for this. Um, all of these brow products I'm about to show you are actually new. This is Zoeva's first brow products that I'm aware of. And I love the shade range in this, and I also love the fact that you can dampen your brush and use them wet, so it's almost like a gel eyeliner for your brows. I think that's really cool. Then we have the Zoeva Matte Palette, and I'm pretty sure this is also Zoeva's first entirely matte palette, because most of their palettes have a mixture of shimmery and matte shades, but holy moly, I am obsessed with this. I cannot wait to start using it. I love the orangey shades, and I love that it's quite warm. But then I also love this two clock shade here. Anyway, I'm really excited to try that. Zoeva eyeshadows are seriously beautiful. I will show you, I don't want to ruin it. They're beautifully pigmented. They blend so well. What more can I say? I also got this neat little pouch with a Lux face definer brush in it. Ooh, it feels so good. Zoeva brushes are literally my go-to brushes. I use them every single day on myself personally. Um, I'm seriously obsessed with them. I have a couple of sets now and I keep like um, a really clean set for when I'm filming and then I have like other sets that I've just used and abused so badly, but I really do love them. They're amazing brushes. Then I have a bunch of brow products. I will show you, I wonder if I've got any blonde ones. Graphic Brow Fix, Amos, Amos. Oh, there you go, straight out of the bat. Blonde, so this is like a brow gel and I guess you can kind of plump your brows up by pushing it one way and then push them the other way and that will set them in place. And they're colored, which is great because that means that if you just have a little bit of sparseness in your brows that this will fill them in for you. Let's see what other shades there are. Brow Light, oh. Oh, cool. So this is like an underbrow highlight. Oh, beautiful. Another eggshell shade, which is perfect for my kind of skin tone and paler. And actually more tan than me as well. This is another graphic brow fix in Vista. Don't mind my pronunciation. Oh, this one's a lot darker. This one looks more like a, kind of like a standard to dark brown. Ooh, a brow pencil. Excellent. This will be my shade for sure. Love it. And I love that it's teeny tiny because that means you can get really perfect brow strokes and make it more um, natural looking and more hair like. And then it also has a little spoolie on the end. And then I'm going to show you their new mascara. Oh. Now that I've taken my nails off, things are so hard to open. I'm giving my nails a little breather from um, SNS and from acrylic because they feel like rubbish. Um, but now when I open things, they're a bit bendy and it ooh, gives me the heebie-jeebies. And then this is the Graphic Lash Mascara. I can't wait to try this. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I'm not very good at describing mascara ones. But you know what? When I try it, I'll let you know if I like it. I'm sure I will. I have not disliked 
anything that Zoeva have made so far. I feel like they're like my spirit brand. <laughs> That is all my Zoeva product for now, but I also thought I'd mention that they're coming out with some amazing highlights. Um, I might have shown you guys on Snapchat the other day, it's Sephora showings, but the highlights are so damn cool. And I'll show you more about them when I get my hands on them, but I'm really, really excited for those. Next up, I have a few products from Way Hair Care, which is Jen Atkins hair brand. The last video I uploaded was actually Q&A with Jen, so definitely go check that out if you haven't already. If you don't know who Jen Atkin is, she is a just an amazing celebrity hairstylist. She's so talented, but she doesn't force it. You know, she doesn't do anything really overdone. Everything's like super chilled and um, undone looking, which I absolutely love. And actually a lot of work can go into hairstyles that look like that, which I feel like a lot of people don't appreciate. But yeah, I really love her work and she works with the Kardashians and I think Chrissy Teigen, I don't know who else, but anyway, she works with a lot of celebrities, so she's very good at her job. I would say she would be one of the hardest working women in the industry. She always looks so busy. She also has Main Addicts, M-A-N-E, Google that if you don't know what it is. And then she's got Way Hair Care. So I actually got a mini one of these at the last Sephora showings and I love it. So I'm very excited to get the full size bottle. This is the Wave Spray, which is basically a sea salt spray. I do have it in my hair today. I used my mini one, not the big one. And then I tonged it so that it's all kind of like messy and, you know, wavy like that. So I'm really excited that I've got a bigger bottle. Just needed to find somewhere to put that. Then I've also got a little hair oil here, which uh, I'm also really excited to try just because my hair is feeling a little damaged at the moment. So I feel like I need to give it some love. And honestly, I've heard great things about all of Jen's products. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to give the hair oil a try. This is the matte pomade. And I have to be honest with you, I am terrified of pomade and gel type hair products. I don't know what it is. You guys probably know that um, as a makeup artist, I've also had to be a hairstylist. So I've been doing hair since I was 17 years old, which will actually be 10 years this year. Um, in Australia, you have to basically know how to style hair to be a makeup artist because you often get booked as one. You're a team of one hair and makeup artist um, for jobs, particularly um, magazines and things like that. So I have worked with hair for 10 years now. Um, I'm no Jen Atkin though, just so you know. Um, and pomades just terrify me. Anyway, this has inspired me to try them again. Because it's a matte pomade, it shouldn't make my hair look um, greasy. It should just make it look really piecey. So I'm going to film another hair tutorial soon, I think, because it's been a while since I've done one. And I get a lot of requests for it. So um, I might use this in the tutorial just so that I can break my fear. I think the best way to get over a fear of a product is by using it. So I'm gonna do that. But basically what I'm sure must go on in simple terms, I am gonna watch, Jen does videos on how to use this stuff. So I'm gonna watch those. But I'm pretty sure you do is like rub it in your hair and then make it piecey. Really simple. Anyway, I'll let you guys know how I go with that. The last product that was in our goodie bag is the texturizing hairspray. I mean, this totally suits my look right now, so. Oh my God, it smells amazing. Basically a texturizing hairspray is kind of like a mixture between dry shampoo and hairspray. It makes your hair feel a little bit gritty, um, which is great for that kind of undone look. It doesn't really do the job of a, um, a dry shampoo though, so maybe don't go spraying it all through your roots. But again, I'm gonna watch Jen's videos on these and see how to really make the use of these products because even though I've done hair, um, it's not what comes most naturally to me. Makeup is definitely something that comes naturally to me. Hair is not, so I'd rather do the research on these and figure out how to use them properly. But you know what I mean? Like sometimes I feel like people try products, they don't know how to use them properly and then they don't think great things about the product. I would rather Google it, learn how to use it and use it properly. Then as I said before, I did interview Jen that day and then after the interview, um, she gave me some product, which was so nice of her. 
and she gave me the Whey Shampoo and Conditioner. Everyone raves about this shampoo and conditioner. So again, I will let you know how I go with it. And then I also got given from Jen a bunch of these random hair pieces. They're so cute. Um, I'm not entirely sure how to use them, but you know, I'm sure I'll figure it out as I go. I don't even know if you can see that. Probably not. <laughs> I just thought that was so cute. I thought that was a really nice touch and yeah. I just really appreciated that. Next up, we have some Kat Von D. There is a locket setting powder. Ooh, excellent. It's translucent, which is excellent. That means I will be able to use it. Looks like this. Maybe I'll give it a feel. Whoa, that is, oh, it almost gives me goosebumps. Like it's really finely milled powder. That is amazing. You guys know I'm not a super powder girl, but I do need powder occasionally for under my eyes and definitely on my eyelids to set my concealer. So I'm excited to try this. That'll mix it up from my NARS and my Laura Mercier that I use all the time. And then this brush here is a setting powder brush. Oh, must go with the setting powder. Also guys, just an FYI, I don't know when all of these products come out. Um, in Sephora. So if they're not out yet, then just wait maybe a month or so and check back in and they'll probably be out. This feels beautiful. It's just a really nice powder brush. And actually I don't have any other Kat Von D brushes, so I'm really excited to try this. Also from Kat Von D, I got two tattoo liners, both in the color Trooper. And I have talked about this before, but this is one of my all time favorite um, felt tip black liners. I was in Sephora one day looking for a felt tip liner and a girl recommended it to me. She said it was like the blackest, best felt tip liner there was. And so I got it and I really have loved using it. This would probably be like my sixth one that I've owned. Like I've bought a lot since trying them. And for a while there I was wearing winged liner every single day. So I was getting a lot of use out of them. I've calmed that down a little bit now, but I'm still so excited for these because they're literally like top three favorite liners. They're amazing. Another brand that I'm openly obsessed with is Marc Jacobs Beauty. The Velvet Noir Mascara is still a favorite of mine and I reckon I've been using it for a good, quite a while now, like nine months, a year, I've gone through quite a few of them and I'm still obsessed. This here is the uh, Lamarck Liquid Lip and it's in the shade Slow Burn. Ooh. Oh, beautiful shade. Wow, that is so pigmented. I'm not sure what this dries like, so maybe let's leave that on there for a little while and see what the finish is. Then I have the Marc Jacobs Highliner in the shade Whirlpool. I actually have the Marc Jacobs highliner in blacker on right now. That's what's on the inside of my eyes. So this color here is obviously not black. It is a very vibrant aqua green. Oh, wow. That is so beautiful. I actually think that's the color that the girl at the showings was wearing and it was just so, um, What's the word? Eye-catching. It was so eye-catching and so pretty and I'm definitely going to get some use out of that. This inspires me. So the texture is really creamy. Um, I was just looking at my eyes then. Um, the texture is really creamy. Um, it's kind of like a crayon but creamier and it smudges really nicely and I mean that in a good way. Once it dries, it dries but it's really great if you want to, for me today I've kind of smudged it underneath my eyes and then a little bit on top and it's really nice to smudge out, but then once it dries, it dries. Then we have the Pout Liner, which is for lips, and this is in the shade Invisible, so it looks white. Still looks white. Okay, definitely is clear or invisible, and so I'm assuming that you put this around your lipstick to stop it from smudging or to kind of create a bit of an outline for it. This one here is still drying, so I think maybe it stays creamy and doesn't go completely matte. Oh my God, you guys, I just found one more um, Whey product, which is a treatment mask. Oh yes, I'm so excited. As I said before, I feel like my hair's um, feeling a little shabby 
um, lately, just like it needs a little bit of love, a little bit of treatment. Um, so I'm definitely gonna give this a go, maybe even tonight. Now on to It Cosmetics, and there are three products here that I'm very excited to try. First of all, we have the Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream, which smooths, brightens, and depuffs. They did have images of it there, and it kind of looked like, ooh, it kind of looked like the eyes had had Botox. Like it goes from, um, you know, having fine lines to really quite smooth. So I'm really excited to see this in action. I'm not quite at the point of having total fine lines yet, but I reckon I could probably still see a difference trying this and otherwise I'll make someone a little bit older try it for me so I can see the results and tell you guys about it. Then we have the Bye Bye Pores Primer, oil-free poreless skin perfecting serum primer. So I'm gonna kind of guess that the results of this would be kind of similar to say, the Benefit Professional Primer. It does make my wrist look a little smoother. Anyway, again, I will try this and, ooh, I just realized the packaging's kind of interesting. Hmm. Um, again, I will try this and let you guys know how I enjoy it. Lastly, we have the Superhero um, Eye Transforming Anti-Aging Super Palette. The packaging actually reminds me a bit of the Kat Von D packaging. Um, maybe the shape of it. Anyway, this is what it looks like here. So the top three are called eye foundations and basically they would be, you know, the foundation of your eyes. Not to use as a foundation, but you know, like a base for your eye makeup. So say if you want to do one shade all over and then build it up on the outer corners or whatever, that's what the top three are for. Although of course, this is just a guide. You do you, use your products how you want to. These here are the nudes. We have one matte and two shimmery shades. Then we have the neutrals. I wouldn't consider these super neutral. I would consider them metallics, but they're pretty, oops. They're pretty nonetheless. And then we have here the liners. So I'm guessing you could probably use these wet or dry. Let me just show you the pigment of one. This is a gold shade. Ooh, can you guys see that? Maybe you can't see that on my arm but it is buttery, let me tell you. And the pigment is really beautiful. I actually think this might be their most pigmented formula yet. I'm not entirely sure if it's been updated, but that feels even more pigmented than their other shadows to me. Then from Anastasia, I got a single eyeshadow, but it's actually a really beautiful color. I actually did an order from Anastasia um, a couple of months ago. There was a huge sale and I bought all this stuff um, online. And then I got this random email back saying like, because you're in another country, um, we need you to fax or email over your photo ID or credit card or something. And I was like, what? I was like, is this a scam? Like, has someone got the Anastasia email address? Like, I was convinced it was a scam. So I didn't send them anything like that because I was like, I just thought that was a bit weird. How many online orders do you place where you have to do that? I have not placed one like that. And I shop online a lot. So I didn't do it and then my order got cancelled. So I was kind of bummed about that, but um, I'm assuming that's probably because it was not a scam and that that's what you really have to do. So I'll keep that in mind for my next order. So this beautiful shadow here, ooh, it's spinning as I, ooh. Dang, that is pretty. That's a really, really nice shade. And this shade is called Wine. How beautiful. I think this might be my first Anastasia eyeshadow, so exciting times. Lastly, I will show you what's in my Makeup Forever pouch because it is another brand I really adore. First of all, we have the Ultra HD Powder Compact. Cute packaging. Ooh, there you go. It's obviously, oh, wow, powder formulas are really, um, changing they're really impressive these days they're so soft and like undetectable almost this could honestly turn me into a powder girl because i just don't like that powdered cakey look but if you can just mattify your skin a little bit without having it look like powder i'm totally down with that so i think i'm really going to enjoy this then artist acrylic lip paint in the shade 400 makeup forever have the most random numbering systems Ooh, it's got like a little squeegee. Wow. 
Wow, that is so smooth. That's gonna be really nice to apply on the lips, I can tell. I have another one of these, which is in shade 202. Ooh, this is also what I would call a watermelony pink. Wow, pretty. So 202 is on the right and then 400. So pretty and so pigmented. And I think, oh, yeah, I think they're gonna stay creamy. I don't see them going matte. And then the last one from Makeup Forever is the Ultra HD Lip Booster. Hydra Plump Serum. Is this coloured? Oh yes, this is a little bit coloured. Oh, Oh, how lovely. I feel like I could put that on right now. This applicator is like... Mm, so spongy and so... Beautiful, it feels actually really nice applying it. I don't think it's plumping, it's not stinging my lips, but maybe it kind of just hydrates and gives them a little bit of color at the same time. If you guys have tried these products and I'm saying what they do the wrong way, please feel free to add your experience with them. <laughs> so I think that is it for now, otherwise this video is going to be extremely long. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited. I love all of those brands. They're all brands that I use all the time. So I'm very, very excited to use all of those products and I'm sure you guys will be seeing a lot more of them. I'll also be testing the other products that I was given in the Sephora goodie bag. Um, but yeah, it might take me a little bit longer to get to know them, to see results with them if they're not a color product and you know, blah, blah, blah. You know how it is. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It's just really good for me to know if you're enjoying the content that I'm making or if you want to see other things and you know, it's good to get your feedback. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you soon in the next video.